My lord, we should address the matter of our ship's resources before we get underway. It saddens me to inform you that we lost several crew and most of our provisions during the storm. However, Port Marge appears to be well supplied, and I expect the recent disaster has left several sailors in want of a ship. I suggest we contract for additional supplies and crew before we return to open water, or our voyage may indeed be a short one. On behalf of the Principe Sen Patrina, I must request we meet in Parley. Ecosi, it has been some time since I last asked another's permission. I have heard some marvelous tales regarding your ventures in the Deerwood. In fact, you are the first dragon slayer I have ever met, outside of a grave. Some fools would seek to make a fortune by pilfering from one such as you. I take it he is not one of those fools. Uh, perhaps we should listen.
I believe you have met such a fool. Captain Benweth of the Drake. This is the first you are hearing of us, truly? We are a magnificent but largely landless people, so we have come to own the sea. To survive, we must seize prosperity where we can. Hence, we are oft labeled as pirates, smugglers, merchants of illicit trade, or mercenaries. It will not always be so, but it is for now. Gelarde, then that should make this easy. I am keen to show my rascal of a compatriot some much-needed humility. I thought perhaps you may care to as well. For our teas, for... Do more job for me, friend. Hope you don't die in the effort. Benweth is no captain of mine, Aimiko. It is not beneath my flag his Drake sails. Yet I do seek to temper his actions when they would endanger the Principe altogether. Are you saying if we rile you, you will pose no threat to us? Ecosi, <laughs> pardon if I do not believe you, Dragon Slayer. Word of Benweth's raid on the Defiant will spread throughout the Deadfire. More fools will seek to prey upon you. I would suggest you stave off all others by making an example of Benweth. Benweth's Drake took damage during the storm. Eventually he will need to dock for repairs, and when he does, Seraphim can find him for you. He is rather an unrefined creature, but he is a most skilled ship hunter, I assure you. Unrefined? Begging your pardon, Captain, but I'll be the eye fucking model of the gentleman of fortune. <laughs> as for Benwith, that sucker of squid tits be as predictable as the tide. But wager all my furriest bits that he'd set sail for deadlight. That would be felicitous indeed. As I believe the traitor Remaro hides there as well. I quite enjoy killing two men with a single bullet. Wouldn't have even thought of it if you hadn't brought it up, sir. Now I ain't hardly in any hurry to leave the fine company of the gentlemen of leisure. But the captain be right about me finding your mark. Adding to that, you sail into Fort Deadlight not knowing your innies from your outies. You might very well find the locals cannon-fucking your boat to sodden splinters. What venture does not require an investment to be prosperous? The Seraphine is an allowance which I expect you will return, in one payment or another. Are you asking aside from my vaunted ship-hunting abilities, self-evident manners, and cyclopedic know-how of all things piratical? Well, there'll be me knowing my way around Fort Deadlight, so named on account of it being a fortress and all. I got my contacts inside, and I'll be half handy with a gun if shit goes belly up. Adding to that, I'll be right easy on the eyes, or so the lasses tell me. I'll be the old package on and off, Captain. As you see, Seraphine is both insufferable and marvelously useful. Oh, you won't be regretting this, Watcher. At least so long as you keep us heavy in grog and light on the onions. Ugh, them dirty shit apples ain't never agreed with me, and I'll be suspecting they never will. He's not sleeping near my berth, I promise you that much. I stay now for Dunnage, my own safe port. I will await you there. Should you be successful in schooling our wayward captain?
The High Captain. Truth be told, Ferrante half expect us to get our asses blown out of the water at Fort Deadlight. Fortunately for you, I have this bad habit of beating the odds. Of course, I do that by way of good old traditional chicanery. And the most important part of any Orn swoggle? Solid planning. Well, uh, that and surviving. Valian made originally. Piled them stones up a few centuries back, but gave it up when the fishmen wouldn't leave them be. Hard to defend against Wilder crawling up out of your crappers. Captain Aldiz claimed it a few years back. Fucking filthy from bow to stern. And she had her lads and lasses cleaning fish shit out of the floorboards for months. A couple of them thought he might be better sailing elsewhere and left in the night. Aldis tracked them down quick as you like, took their heads, and fixed them into little lanterns for the front gate. Called them Fort Deadlights Deadlights. They say she ain't had a deserter since. Uh, tad cruel for my taste. But I admit to admiring the wordplay. Funny thing about it being a fort means it ain't a boat. Means I don't have to worry about the way the cannons are storing onkin' big balls. Guns they got crowned in that castle put a hole in your poop deck before you've sighted land. Fort itself be floored to sealing rum sodden fools, so that be going for us. But Aldis keeps the crew on the walls sharp and sober. One blast of their horns and deadlights locked up tight as an adhere in mugger night. We'll stay that way too, till any unfamiliar ships have been shot to shit and shot again. Yeah, she's sharp as shit, that one. Tongue, mind, and ears alike. Sailed out a Deerwood or a Deer one. Knows her not, and how to crew a ship that won't turn sour. Her words ring out among the Principe. More than you'd think for new blood. Part of that's her fierce support of freedom. From slavers, from the empires, from the Juana's caste system, even. The rest are lenient and. Step out of line, and Ferrante's got your old crew up for lashes. Aldis, though, she's, uh... uh let's say there's a reason she attracts limp cocked nut twists like Benwith. Can't say I much approve of a lack of regard for our traditions, but, uh... Can't say I don't share her vexations with Ferrante in the old guard, neither. Ah, the Principe's no fleet. More a mishmash of fiercely independent captains. A lot of them take to one another like sharks to krakens. But we be bound by the slippery slipknots of tradition. Even those bucking tradition cooperate for protection against our enemies. Many of the old guard have died off, though. And the new blood flooding in be, uh, less the civil sort. Oh, I did say contacts, didn't I? Contact would be more accurate, in the singular. Alas, by the name of Siri. Been running the same circles for years, doldrums and fair winds. We're never family, but uh, never on the wrong ends of arms, neither. Might have uh, shaken the sheets a few months back. Regardless of how she feels about me, there's no love lost betwixt her and Benwith, that's for damn certain. Ugh, random? What do you take me for, Captain? Well... I can't say as you're entirely wrong. And Deadlight's a tough coconut to crack, but if not cracking, what are nuts for? Smart play for crashing any party involves scavenging yourself up an invite, and then dressing to impress. Uh, no, Captain, they do not. Looking the part in this case means hoisting colours identifying us as Principe. Don't have to tell you how dangerous such a bit of fabric can be if the wrong person catches you flying it. Well, Principe captains don't just give up their flags for a few coins. Nakitaka's Black Market. If there be a Principe flag for sale, it'll be there. Mark it up and relocate every so often to avoid the Royal Guard. We'll just have to find wherever it currently be anchored. Aye, Captain. Looking forward to watching you work.